Okay. Just walking for I think he was trying to go for self-destruct. Okay. So I forgot to mention one important thing actually is that when you um so stage transitions are also back. I don't remember if we had them in any games previously. Well, I guess Budokai 2 would be the closest example I could possibly think of. No stage of facts, unfortunately, like Budokai 3, where you can get some good damage, but yeah. So with this game, unfortunately, um Shin Budokai syndrome kinda kinda begins to rear its ugly head. Combos are way less consistent when you do them in the air versus on the ground. Like, there's a lot of BMBs with Goku I love to do, that, uh, but you end up in the air. So it's like, ah, yeah, my phone just dropped. Ugh, I hate that so much. Fucking Z-Wrecking again. By the way, my trick for that, I just had to roll it back. Uh, by the way, yeah, if you remember fucking Screwdriver that Sao Man had back in Budokai, back in Infinite World, yeah, it's intact in this game. Cybermen are rough to fight in this game. Um, realizing that it's even more so on higher difficulties as well. Ugh, not a fan. So, Nappa versus TN. This is the first fucking time we get to play as Nappa in these games. Holy shit, dude. Like, we didn't even play as Nappa in BT3. <clears throat> that is wild. I mean, I guess I can't complain whatsoever, but it's still kind of nuts to think about. So, who wants to be first? Yeah, you're going to see that animation a lot, unfortunately. You can kind of tell from that animation there's a lot of movements there Nappa does not normally do. That's because that barrage is really a stock placeholder. Oh god, the head tilt too. So one thing I will say though is that Nappa's kind of fun to play as, actually. Like, it's, it's very rare to actually have like a straight bruiser in these kinds of games, and Nappa does actually kind of almost feel like a... Okay, this is going to sound really so fucking stupid. Nappa, he plays essentially like Zangief, and I'm gonna tell you why. He has essentially Zangief's fucking green hand, kind of. But no, he really just like got an almost straight up fucking uh, grappler. It's actually, it's weird that in these older Budokai games, we we never really had a pure grappler, but Nappa does almost fit that mold. Like, look at this. I'm I'm bullying fucking Tian pretty well here. I could have punched him way harder than that, but whatever. In fact, I might. Honestly, I might be able to do like. Ah. More fucking. Okay, well, that's, that's the last one at least. Yeah, that was fine. By the way, if you. If you don't end up getting the stun with, with uh, your unblockable, it hurts like a motherfucker. That should not get you a fucking straight stage transition. That is so dumb. Your defensive option should not get you such high fucking reward. Ah, uh, sorry. No, I'm not. God. Come on. Did that just... What? <laughs> okay. Oh, there we <laughs> Just one jab in here, just... <laughs> dead. Uh, okay. Sorry about the notification just now. That, That's my Twitch... That's my Twitch notification for when someone subscribes to the YouTube channel, and I guess I'll take it. Oopsie. So I'm recording this on OBS using essentially my stream uh, layout. You just don't know when to quit. Oh, God. This is really default You're shit. Still alive, stupid. Well, we didn't have. I think Chaozu does come in to blow himself up at some point in time, maybe. Anyway, the the weird green hand thing uh, Nappa has is essentially like a, a command grab, but doesn't like have the command grab part. Key blast cannon. You startled me. The blast that sacrificed the rest of Tian's life pool. And it, all it did was singe his armor a little bit. Like, it took out the shoulders off. And that's kind of the extent of what happened. Ugh. Also, God, I gotta stop pressing X for it and all that because just straight up skips all the results. Ugh. Is that six? Nappa, the invincible? Actually, well, I'm just curious. What score did I get? Like an S rank? Oh, wow, that's rank. Nice. <laughs> Still doing pretty fucking well. Nappa versus Krillin? Oh, boy. 
But no, seriously, I think this might be the very first time ever in any of these Dragon Ball Z games we have the chance to just play as Nappa straight up. And I'm not complaining, it's just really weird. Are we gonna have it in our head tilt? Nope. Get back here. Oh no. Also, can I just say I really despise how you don't have like a round one start? Or like a tradition you, you know, like a traditional like round one begin kind of thing for this game. Like you literally just begin the match as soon as the um the camera fades from black. It's ri like ridiculously fast. Yeah, that's not a combo. <laughs> we have that animation again, T ended. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I should probably ask this now. Did Nanapa like Renaissance happen because of fires with how unique he plays in DBFC? Or was it before that with like a hipster like uh like kind of post more of the thing? Like genuinely I wanna know because there's like a lot of people I know that are huge fans of Nappa. I'm just like why? Seriously, why? I mean, not the worst character to be a huge fan of. Granted, you could be a huge fan of Bro uh, like Zebroly, but still. I know what I am saying, and Super Broly is still my son, but you know. Damn, that fucking enforces. Ugh, God, it whips hard though against him. Also, I'm trying my best to like. Four triple cancel out of this, but it's just not happening. God damn. Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, God. By the way, yeah, don't even know you this is the Shin Buddha kind engine where you can do a lot of specials off of you like your strings. Like pretty much freely. Oh cool. Yay. Unfortunately, um, I was about to say, there's gonna ought to be a lot of gaps, and your opponent can definitely take advantage of that. Oh, cool. Oh god, yeah, it's really hard to actually like com uh, confirm a lot of shit with Nappa. And anyway, let's do this. Oh, that's just a bit straight up beam. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, yeah, it's. I know. Yeah, God. The complaints about, uh, f Jesus, stop that. Yeah, the complaints about, um, s uh, drama pieces being way too disruptive is really starting to rear its head. Like, holy shit, dude. Drama pieces just kind of, it's not so much that it just happened out of nowhere, which is still pretty bad. It's also the fact that they just completely interrupt gameplay, and they also change, alter the state of gameplay as well, like... Off, you'll either be knocked away from your opponent, so you completely lose your advantage, or like your opponent ends up playing like in front of you, and that also is kind of sucks. So, ugh. it becomes more apparent the more I'm playing this. Like, I kind of just wish in the back of my mind, man, I wish I was playing fighters right now, or man, I wish I was redoing B BT3 or something. Jesus. And anyway, what rank can I get? A rank? Yeah, I wasn't the best rank in the world. Whatever. I think the next time I play as Goku, though, I might try my hand up very hard. Pro now, like I said before, this is not going to be a case where Bob starts playing hard mode and then gradually gets good enough at the game to work up the Z3. No, no. this is not Budokai 3 all over again. Dad. But be damned if it's not tempting. But with the online condition for Z okay. rank, no thanks. I just have to hold him off until my dad gets here. What? You're going to try to hold me off? Yeah, some of the models just look really off. Like here, like Nappa's relatively clean, but when he starts moving his mouth, it looks bad. Ser yeah, we've gone through this exact same animation before with uh, Krillin, I think. Uh, oh, we're actually using Gohan now. Uh, God, maybe I should have done this normal. Well, just let me sack the fuck out of him, I guess. So, unfortunately, this is older Gohan. As, as in, or worse, Gohan, where Masenko has like no range. It's literally just a shotgun blast of sorts. And I'll guard because I don't know where I'm going to end up. Yep. 
Yeah, I might as well just try like mix up with, with unblockables a lot more. <laughs> and one of Gohan's ultimates in this game is straight up like, if you remember when Piccolo chucked Gohan at the uh, into the mound at the very start of Z, wh where they were gonna begin training together, Gohan just like formed an orb around himself and shot a beam at the at the mound. That is that is exactly what it is. I'm just like I'm proud of this game for pulling very obscure references for attacks. And that's that's kind of cool, but just like why? Anyway, so one advantage that Gohan does have in this matchup is that you know he's super fucking short, so a lot of things Nappa do are probably gonna go right over his head, as well as Nappa just being slow. You know that need, that does not need to be said. Uh. Also, meter guard wherever you can. By the way, guys, especially when you're blocking out uh, ultimate. Oh god, yeah, I don't have a straight up full screen shit options. Oh god, okay. Actually, you know, I'm not sure offhand if your uh, strong moves still have uh, like one hit of armor against like Y attacks. I'm completely clueless on that front, actually. How many of those do you have, dude? I ask, like, even though I could just easily look. Okay, he's got one left. Oh no, it's, it's active right now. Also, just want to say, another big problem in this game is that the camera gets flipped around very fucking frequently during combat. In fact, you know, yeah, that might be one of the biggest issues. Okay. I think my three biggest issues with the game right now that I'm thinking of them. Stage transitions, uh, the camera constantly being flipped around, and the lack of hit stun for anything you do against your opponent. Like, holy shit. Like, in terms of pure gameplay, I'd say those are probably worse drawn pieces. If you could, again, if you can mod drawn pieces out of the game, then fuck me, that would probably make this game, like, definitely, like, at least 50% better by itself. But, drawn pieces are not the worst part of the game. Wow, that tied? Jesus. Yeah, drawn draw pieces are also again how you get a lot of scene recreations from the anime. Crafty, but please let's not have that just regularly available in fucking verses. Now, if you're a more casual player, you might begin to wonder yourself, Bob, why are the drawn pieces such a big deal if like they're cinematic and cool looking? Well, okay, I want you to consider this. Let's say you're having like, let's let's say not even money matches, okay? Let, let's just assume you are having like a free, like you're just playing casually sets of the game or playing games with a friend and you're enjoying yourselves and that's cool. Totally cool. Now let's assume you play maybe 20 games together, like generously. I've played way more set games with Brandon in, in uh, Ultimate, but, or Smash Ultimate namely. Let's say you end up doing 20 games. That means if you're going to have to experience drawing pieces Probably at least 60 to 100 times. Sorry. Think about that. And some of these drawn pieces can go longer than 5 seconds. They can go up to like 10 seconds sometimes. Now imagine if you're using the same characters and you see the same fucking drawn pieces over and over and over again. Yeah, it... Needless to say, this is not a game you would probably want, probably want to learn on a completely serious level because that would be the worst thing. Yeah. That long-term problems, that would probably be the biggest issue of this game, period. Short-term problems, I, I think the gameplay issues are a much bigger problem. But that's just me. Anyway, I thought, oh yeah, D-pad selects. Okay, okay. I was using the left stick there, like, isn't this like the way you select them? That's kind of weird. But that's just a hypothetical toss-up of me, you know. Take it for what you will. Maybe you do really, really like drawing pieces, in which case, okay, cool. But just... Try not to enjoy them too much when you end up seeing the same drawing piece like 50 to 100 times in the span of an afternoon. Because trust me, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun at all. Okay. So, Goku. Back when the old world, now it's time to have some fun. What's with your face? Oh, God, this perception. I don't like it. I will never forgive you! Yeah! Man, you know what it is, essentially? A lot of it's a script writing for this part, this period of Dragon Ball Z. What? 
Oh boy, boys, here comes the meme. They even recreated too. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's the same script too as back then too. Yeah, unless you're dead, lol. Well. But no, like, I, I, did, I just really realized that with that, I don't like your face. I just really realized, oh yeah. Yeah, the big problem with the original Dragon Ball Z dub is the script. It's not the voice acting by itself, it's definitely the script. And the voice direction to a capacity. It's not a huge deal, but it is definitely present. That's for absolutely sure. Oh look, I do have Kaioken, yay. I need you to let me in, Nappa. Oh, Jesus. Maybe you shouldn't take it off the chin, though. You're not quite as sturdy as Nappa here. Oh, God. He's got fucking five bars, though. Jesus. Yeah, if I was a more efficient player and if I had a lot more time, I would definitely learn. Okay, so here's the thing, especially. If the, I'm gonna say also and be generous and say that the big reason I got as decent as I did at Budokai was because I had two other games to learn the whole mechanics of the system and everything. And conveniently, I got pretty good with Goku. Now with this game, however, this is a one and done deal, like completely by itself. Not even Shin Rukai really helps with it, so. Yeah, it like there's not really much incentive for me to actually learn the game too seriously, so that kind of bites. Yeah, I actually took that. <laughs> oh yeah, but yes, Dragon Fist is back. Unfortunately, Dragon Dragon Loops are kinda gone. Dragon Fist Loops, I mean. The reason being is because I mean, Dragon Fist Loops didn't really exist in Shooter by Shin Budokai to begin with. It's because of the way the juggle system works in that game. Um, your opponent goes a lot more back vertically than horizontally, if you know what I mean. Or rather, so, I think I got that backwards. In Shin Budokai, they're knocked back more horizontal than vertical. In Budokai, they're a lot more vertical, like upwards. So it's easier to juggle the comp, like the move into itself multiple times. Especially in Infinite World. Holy crap. Some of the loops I got in that game. Damn, that was... That's all my gaming highlights right there. Leave this planet now. Do it. Okay. <laughs>